is Megan from A Travel to Yuzu here. Today we're going to talk about shell rot in turtles. So the first thing I do when I discover my turtle that has shell rot is basically get off all the debris and all the dead um, scoots and fungus that's on their shell. So to do that, if it's a mild case, you can scrub it with a toothbrush. Sometimes you actually have to go in with a little knife and take off those areas. I had to do that extreme with Betty because it was so bad. This is just to give her shell a good soak. I really want all of that to soak in on her shell. I'm going to leave her in there for probably about 30 minutes. Once that soak is done, I'm going to take her out and I'm going to apply Betadine specifically to the spots where it's really bad and I'm going to scrub it with the toothbrush. And then after that, we're going to use um, some medication from the vet. We're going to take her out. I've got all my tools here, just a regular old toothbrush and the Betadine. So we're going to take her out now. And we're just going to put her here. Alright, the first thing I did was dry her shell. I just took Kleenex and dried all the excess water off there. And now we're going to go right into the Betadine. I'm going to actually pour this right on her, right here. And we're going to take that toothbrush, and we're going to scrub all those areas like that. All those spots on her that look like that, we're going to put some Betadine in, and we're going to scrub it. And we're going to try to get off all that debris that's left over. So I'm going to spend the next 10 minutes or so doing this. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I have scrubbed her shell. All that orange-red tint is from the Betadine. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put her under the heat line, and I'm going to soak her, I should say, bask her. Alright, so I just went ahead and put Betty in front of her basking area. Um, I do this method as it forces her to really get all that heat and all that UVB light. All right guys, so it's been about 20 minutes since Betty's been drying off. Yeah, her shell's nice and dry. So we're gonna take her over here on the table. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna apply the antibiotic from the vet. So I'm gonna put this all over her and then we're gonna let her sit and dry out again for another 20 minutes or so. And then she'll be able to go back into her tank. All right, so here's Betty and she is all covered in that antibiotic that I have from the vet. I'm now going to put her back into her bucket and bask her again for about 20-30 minutes until her shell is dry. Alright guys, so it's been about 20 minutes since Betty's been soaking in there. I kind of had to really secure this in so that she wouldn't flip it over. So we're just going to go ahead and put her basking area up top here first. And we're just going to put her back. Now, a lot of people rinse them. You don't have to. I actually asked the vet about that. I said, should I be rinsing off the Betadine and off the medication? And the vet said, no, you do not need to. It's not going to hurt her to have it on her, and it's not going to hurt your fish or anything else in the tank. So we're just going to go ahead and put her back. Just like that. <laughs> she's going to plop at the bottom because she's not very happy with me. And that's it. that's going to do it for today. I hope you learned a thing or two about shell rot and what to do if you encounter it with any of your turtles. Um, if left untreated, shell rot can be deadly. It can get into their bloodstream and it can it's, you know, eventually cause death. So don't let it go um, untreated. If you find it, treat it right away and hopefully you'll have some luck with it. Uh, Betty, along with one of my other turtles, Simone, is a rescue. So as soon as I saw how bad her shell was, I knew I had to bring her in and get her all treated up. So we are, it's a long battle, shell rot, can take years and years to fight. Um, it might not seem like it's working, but keep trying, you will see some differences. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one.